You're only one great art critique away from making the best art of your life. Hi, this is Don Victor Varge. In just a minute, I'm going to share with you a way to get the best art critique ever. But before I do, let me share with you why I believe a great art critique is so helpful. Especially if you desire to compose museum quality art collectors love to own. I say that because the difference between museum and Main Street quality art has little to do with how well you draw or paint. While, of course, drawing and painting matter, it ultimately isn't what moves the collector to buy. What gets buyers to buy is the emotional connection they have with your art. That kind of connection is triggered by the artwork's composition, not its painting. After all, as an artist, don't you have to go inside yourself to catch that idea, vision, or feeling you want to express? If you can't do that authentically, or with authority, or aesthetically, you'll be crushed by artists who can. Unfortunately, it's hard to find art critiques that help make your compositions exceptional and remarkable. When you want an art critique, you often have two choices. One, you can ask friends and family on Facebook. Or two, you can ask other artists at local art critiques. There are some serious challenges, though, with both of those options. Asking friends and family on Facebook often ends in a flood of niceties. How often have you heard it? Wow, you're so good. That's such a beautiful painting. Or the dreaded, it looks just like a photo. To them, you're being flooded with praise. Isn't that what you wanted? But how do you really feel? Do you feel frustrated? Because you want feedback that can help you achieve that higher standard. And so what about the artist critiques? Too often, these art critiques focus on socializing or ego stroking or self-promotion. And let's be honest, do you take free art critiques seriously? Do you really value them or at least count on them? Sadly, very little honest or actionable advice is exchanged. Unfortunately, I know about these challenges all too well. I've advised artists since 1996 and seen the lack of composition training, critiques, and classic awareness. For years on Facebook, I made efforts to give meaningful, actionable, design-centric feedback when artists asked. The response was always grateful because it is so rare to get real and relevant feedback. Isn't it so frustrating when you know something is off in your composition but you can't put your finger on it? You ask a spouse, a friend, and they tell you, everything is great, be happy, you're so talented. When you get tired of feedback like that, then you're ready for a guy like me. I have this incredible ability to see past the paint and into the essence of the composition. The great Michelangelo said, design, design is the very essence of painting, sculpture, and architecture. So a painting's success is found in the principles applied, not its paint. Degas said, there are better painters than I, but because I'm a draftsman first, I'll be the one remembered. How did I develop this ability to see what makes or breaks a composition? Well, let's go back. As a child, I came to know art very differently than most. For me, art has always been about winning and influencing people. Growing up as an orphan in the foster care system, art was my only stability. My relationship with art was not merely a fun hobby. Art for me was a matter of sanity. It was my rock. Art was my identity and motivated others to care about me. With no parents, my siblings pulled apart, and not knowing if I had a home each night to see as a foster child, for any reason, at any point, you were only one phone call away from getting your life rearranged. So those unique life lessons gave me a way to see and appreciate life. They taught me to look past the nouns and feel the verbs in all things. So home 
became a feeling of safety and rest, not a house. Family became connections based on common experiences, not a group of folks with the same hair color. Today, most representational artists merely copy the nouns they see and call it art. Kenyon Cox says, without design, you may have representation, but you will not have art. Too many artists who want to express the feeling of home may focus on the appearance of a pretty house, yet not aware their intuitive composition is exuding an apprehensive feel. A portrait artist who wants to express a feeling of happiness may focus on drawing a smile, yet not realizing their composition triggers a feeling of isolation. And so most representational art today are full of symbolic meanings, or worse, just a copied photo. And as the Apostle Paul said, while you have the form of godliness, you deny the power thereof. And so we have many representational paintings full of exquisite forms, and yet most compositions hold next to no power, breath, or life. These kinds of paintings serve no function other than looking pretty. They may be great works of representational folk art, but they're not museum-quality fine art. As a foster child, nothing felt real, so you learned to look past the stuff. You had to see the substance beyond the people and the places and the things. However, the news isn't all grim. No matter what new school, new home, or new community I entered, designing art people connected with was how I established my value. And so I learned without expensive tools or fancy mediums how to win and influence people through art. This skill led me to win over a hundred art awards. Today I coach artists to compose museum quality art that collectors love to own. Though I won at art early, I knew the purpose of my life was not to be a painter. I knew I was to master a skill and refine my faith. Now I get to help other artists use their talents to nourish souls. At 17, I discovered a wise old man who taught me classic drawing, painting, and design. I knew before I was 20, art design was going to be my special skill. Over the past two decades, I studied nearly a thousand museum quality paintings. I decoded their compositional strategies and design principles. I uncovered their secret stories and revealed their hidden mysteries. So now looking past the stuff in a painting in order to see the substance within its composition is second nature. Being able to clearly see what is and is not working in a composition, that's my superpower. Not only can I see into a composition, but I can also articulate what I see. Yet my greatest joy is teaching others how to see and speak about composition too. That's why I'm so excited to tell you about a way to critique compositions. It's so much better than asking Facebook friends and frustrated strangers. Introducing Don Victor's Museum Quality Art Critiques. These critiques help artists like you design compositions collectors love to own. The beauty of our critiques is you are respected. That doesn't mean we sugarcoat the truth and waste your time with pseudo-art theory, but it does mean you're accepted as an intelligent, disciplined, and serious artist who loves making quality art, and you cherish clients and customers and collectors who appreciate quality and class. Therefore, these critiques are weakly structured and results-driven. Why are they weekly? Well, Accessibility and frequency is important. This resource is significant to designing greater art. Once a month doesn't suffice for serious artists aiming for a higher standard. Each week, the critiques are hosted on Zoom. This way, you don't have to lug your art around or leave your home. Each month, an in-person critique is also hosted at the museum, COVID providing. This way, you can see others' artwork in person and socialize too. Why are they structured? Structured critiques ensure our time isn't wasted. 
It stops one artist from hijacking the session or another one being overly self-promotional. Why are they results-driven? Simple. Collectors don't acquire unfinished or low-quality art. To manage and measure our results, we use a glossary and scoring rubric. The glossary allows you to share actionable ideas with others using a common lexicon. The rubric lets you gauge the quality of your compositions at different stages. You'll find investing in museum quality art critiques pays for itself. Every winning artist knows amazing feedback is invaluable. Amazing feedback can make the difference between making a mediocre work of art or designing a masterpiece. Because of the structure, frequency, and focus, you're going to see improvements immediately. It's that simple. Stop asking for Facebook feedback. Start asking for compositional critiques if you want to increase your authenticity, authority, and aesthetic design. A great compositional critique is perfect for representational artists, impressionistic artists, abstract artists, and illustrators. When it comes to great compositions, style, subject, medium, and the market doesn't matter. It's all about the message and design. So you're probably asking, how much does Don Victor's Museum Quality Art Critiques cost? Well, the price for my composition coaching clients range annually between three and 15000 But since we're connecting through the museum, you're going to get an amazing deal. Instead of paying my coaching fee of $3,000, if you order today from this special page, you can fully participate for just $297. Over the next 12 weeks, you'll get nine Zoom sessions and three museum sessions. You can use all 12 sessions to discuss one composition that you're working on, or you could critique 12 individual images. But you have to act now. This offer is so good, it won't last forever. So to take advantage of it, click the button below this video. Once you've paid, you can immediately start uploading your art for your first critique. You have absolutely nothing to lose because I offer a no questions asked 100% money back seven day guarantee. So if you're ready to design compositions that increase authenticity, authority, and aesthetics, enroll now. Simply click the button below this video to join Don Victor's Museum Quality Art Critiques right now. It might just be the best investment you ever make in improving your compositions. Thanks for your time.